Do to yourself, Duke here, back on the farm. We got some fixing up to do on this here baler. It's got some broken welds. We've got to re-weld them. And take a look at this thing. It is the Heston 4790. This thing is amazing. It takes the hay from down here, scoops it up, goes in there, there's a little drill things, take it into the center part, then it compacts it in there tightly, and it makes a bale. And then, amazing invention, it takes this twine and it puts it around the bale and ties it in a knot. Isn't that crazy? It was pretty awesome. And the bale come out here in the back big bales as you can see comes out there and they usually weigh does alfalfa and grain hay and they usually weigh about 13 to 1500 pounds so the thing gets a lot of stress a lot of a lot of pounding a lot of bounce around on the field a lot of weight coming off the back so as a result some welds broke on the frame so we're going to take this big old tire off and then we're gonna fix those welds so let's get busy because we got to get this thing ready for hay in season because you know what they say make hay while the sun shines let's get started so to get a big tire off you need a big air wrench let's see if this baby will do it Ten of these big boys. Let's see if we get this tar off without it falling on us. And little by little, we can slay the beast. out of there. I wish Billy was here. Oh. Okay. Uh. There it is. I'll put it somewhere safe. Nice. Let's check out this broken well. It is in under here down in here aha uh -huh. there's the guilty one right here see this is the frame there's where the string goes wraps around these little these little things and it wraps around the bale up there and all the all the twine goes through there, at least half of the, this side, and then there's half on the other side. But anyway, that's the broken weld. So we're going to clean that up, grind it, get a good place for a ground, and put a nice hot weld on there. And maybe this won't break again. As you can see, it's kind of in the middle of the machine where the weight probably puts a lot of stress on the back and then starts cracking the weld there. So we want to catch that before something else breaks. Okay, so we ground that real good and ground like a V shape in there so that'll fill up with the weld. And we got nice fresh steel to weld against. We got our Power Make 200 045 wire, our CO2 argon mix. We're going to crank this thing up and put a good weld on there. Start on the bottom, start here, back, here, back, here, back. Work our way to the top. 
so I don't got too much slag coming off and all the weld gets into that V groove and we got a good weld and that'll hold that baby. Let's turn this on. Okay, that's pretty good. I may build it up some more, but that's welding a big crack. And as you can see, it's super tight places to get into. It's not much room. Gotta get your head in there and you gotta make sure that hot slag doesn't get on you. Welding the baler. Yep, stuff breaks down on the farm. And a welder's a really good tool to have. So we'll get that back together this big ass tire back on there then this thing will be ready to make hay when the sun shines till next time DIY Dick I wish I had some help with this tire glad you showed up Okay, Billy. Just be careful. Ah, come on, Billy. Come on. Ah. Oh. No. Billy. Oh. Oh.